I'd like to introduce a language that I hope is helpful in terms of explaining some of the forces that drive these types of decisions, this inability to take up opportunity. This is Emeritus Professor James March from Stanford University. He identified two conflicting processes in pretty much all organisations. Um, and these processes are in constant tension and need to be balanced if the organisation is to be resilient in the long term. He called these processes processes of exploitation and exploration, or I call them explore and exploit for short because I'm syllabastically challenged. But uh, if we think about what exploit means for a moment, really it's talking about efficiencies. How can we deliver our widgets out of the pipe as quickly and efficiently as we possibly can in replicable quality. We want to remove all the volatility from the process. And overall, we want to assume that we have a stable environment because if your environment's very unstable, it's very difficult to be efficient. Explore, if you think about it, is the direct opposite of this. This is all about pursuing ad hoc opportunities. It's about a much higher risk appetite. It is about accepting that things are uncertain. And unlike exploit, explore is focused on tomorrow. Exploit is focused on today. Beyond these processes, however, what these actually refer to more broadly is a worldview, a way of thinking, a set of assumptions about how the world is. Exploit really operates off a deductive reasoning logic in the way that things are thought about. If you assume everything is true and certain, you have all of your variables in front of you, you work through the process, you come up with the decision. Of course, that doesn't work for Explore. Inductive reasoning helps, probably intuition is even better because you just don't have any of the variables. I mean, the problem is with Explore, you can't measure things in the same way. You can't apply a return on investment type measures to Explore. You don't know what the return's gonna be because you've never sold one. You don't know how much it's gonna cost to build because no one's ever built one before. So you don't know pretty much all of the elements of the equation. As a result, most Explore activities do not occur within business as usual because they'll get killed off by exploit. I actually had the opportunity to meet James March once at a conference in Europe, and I, uh, I walked up to him and said, Professor March, your, your, uh, your framework, Explore Exploit framework, has been very important to us in developing the innovation capability within the bank. And as I waited for the pearls of profundity to rain down upon me, he looked at me and said, glad it was useful, and then he walked off. Anyway, I digress. What I'd like you to do is to hold Explore and Exploit in your head as I wind back the clock to April 1942. 